I love to participate in artist trading card swaps, but sometimes life gets complicated and in the way, and I find myself thinking, how am I going to get this done, and what am I going to do? So I'm going to share with you how I created an easy artist trading card. I started with a sheet of watercolor paper, 120 pound, and covered it in book pages, both newer book and an older book I added in to add that rich caramel color to my background. And once I got all of those pasted down, I came back in and added some texture paste. I used one stencil and one stencil only, so I tried to find in my stencil connection connection, collection, one that actually had several different designs incorporated within it. As I said, I was trying to make this as easy as possible. I also make my own texture piece out of baby powder, glue, and white paint. If you want that recipe, I'll put the link in the description page. Once I had all of the texture paste down, while it was still a little wet, I pulled out some white embossing powder and just coated that texture paste with that embossing powder to give it um, a rich white color as well as a tiny bit of sheen. I'm going to set that embossing powder with my heat gun. And now that that is all dry, I have used some bundled sage spray Distress Oxide Ink, let that dry, and now I'm coming back with some Blue Lagoon Distress Oxide Spray as well. And instead of spraying, I'm just dripping that across the top and adding a bit of water out of my spray water bottle to allow that to run through all of that texture that we created on this piece of watercolor paper with the card. Once that is dry, I am going to seal this background with some Mod Podge. And I'm using the Mod Podge hard coat just because I think it gives it a little more substance and it becomes a little more rigid or a kind of a better background. And now that background is complete. So let's decorate it to create the ATC. I'm cutting it into the ATC size, which to it is two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And I'm setting aside all of the little remnants of paper because I want to use those as part of my texture and decoration for the card. So I'm trying to use every little piece of this watercolor paper sheet. And now that it's all cut, I'm going to take the actual little bits and put them into sizes that are a little more workable, a little more varied, just to add some interest to my cards. And I'm going to try to organize those, position them, and see how that's going to look. I want to add definition to the outside of these cards. So I pulled out my charcoal pen, pencil and I am just going around the outside edge with that, smudging it with a wet finger. And now I have those kind of lined up in how I would like to use them. So I'll just glue them down. Oops, I forgot to go around the outside of it, edge of that. So let's avoid that mistake and get all of them outlined. And when you cut those pieces into smaller bits, sometimes it releases or you haven't, there isn't glue underneath it. So I'm just making sure that everything is kind of glued into place before I put it down. I also have some thread that I want to just wad up and attach underneath my remnants. Let's get all of them 
with that black outline. Now I'm going to wrap this thread around my finger and I'm just going to staple that in place with one of the little remnant pieces. And now where that staple is, I will add another embellishment to cover that staple. And I have these little washers that I had, oh gosh, I've had them forever. And I bought them in bulk um, from Alibaba, I believe. And they're just little cheap. Um, they're not sterling silver. They're, uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they, they will melt. I do know if you put fire to them. Now, I wanted to add a cinnamon, and I didn't want to purchase the cinnamon that I added, so I just printed a bunch off on a tea stain piece of copy paper, and that's what I have cut to utilize as my sentiment. And to finish this card up, I want to put my ATC information on the back. So I've done the same thing on a piece of coffee stain paper. I've added my little two old Crows Mixed Media logo, the ATC, the month it was, what I've used to embellish the card. I'm gluing that onto the back. And to finish it off, I'm going to trim it up and ink it up. And you may have noticed the like button earlier. I hope you will hit that like button um, as it does help uh, YouTube to know that people are enjoying my content. So if you've enjoyed the making of this card, please hit that like button and I would appreciate it greatly. And now I'm just inking it with a vintage photo ink and I do because I have used black everywhere else I want to come back and ink around that again with a little bit of black and bam they're done that quick that easy and personally I like the way the cards turned out I have them all ready for my swap and I'll just give you a, a quick view of one of the cards and how they each kind of represent themselves in this artist trading card swap. The swap is facilitated by my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media. So if you want to hop over there and join us in a future swap, we'd love to have you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking this. And I am putting a couple of other videos up here that I think you might enjoy. Bye for now.